Good afternoon at 2.30. I'm Vic Michelucci. Following a developing story, we just got word from authorities in Nassau and Duval counties that Interstate 95 has been shut down in both directions. This is due to smoke and flames from the Yellow Bluff fire. We have been covering this fire for a couple of days now. We want to get straight to the detours. Actually, this is video sent to me from a viewer. This is I-95. Shortly before it was shut down, you can see Jacksonville Fire and Rescue crews along with the Florida Forestry Service. They are right there on the side of the road. Now, since this morning, they had one lane closed, but it appears that the flames and the smoke have gotten closer to Interstate 95. State troopers with the Florida Highway Patrol had been monitoring this situation, and now it appears that it is too treacherous. That's why they are deciding to stop traffic in both directions on that highway. So we want to talk about detours. If you are heading north, You'll get off at the Pecan Park Road exit, then take US 17 north to State Road 200 in Yulee. From there, you will take a left to head back toward the interstate. Now, if you are heading southbound, it is the same route, but reversed. So you'll take State Road 200 exit in Nassau County, take a right onto US 17, head south to Pecan Park Road, and then you'll be able to get back on I-95. Our reporter Jim Pickett has been out in the field in the area covering this all day long. He is in our Storm Track 4 vehicle. Jim, we want to go to you. What do you see? Obviously, you are stopped because you're in the vicinity, but traffic is not moving in either direction. You know, Vic, I'm sitting right now here on Pecan Park Road. Let me switch the camera here and give you a view of what you're seeing here. Uh, this is where the road is blocked going north in onto I-95. I just came off I-95 and I'll tell you, it was a mess. Eventually, I'm going to have some video that I just sent back showing the smoke over the road and why they had to do that. It was getting very heavy just for a short distance. But I'll tell you, from Pecan Park Road all the way up to 200, up to Nassau County, it took 25 minutes just to make that trip. Uh, the traffic was all backed up. They're clearing that out now to get traffic because of the dangers up there. When we got up right next to the fire, I mean, it was it, smoke was everywhere. It was hard to see, and I can understand exactly why they're doing this. Uh, you know, I just talked to FHP right prior to do this, uh, right prior to this, and they were saying that you know they were only expecting to close down the one lane. But now they're observing it to see what happens, and they said people need to be aware. So if you're going to do this, it's going to take you some time to get around 95. Uh, as you mentioned on the detours on that, that's going to take a while. You can see from Sky 4 um, the problem, the situation there of, of the smoke in the area and what's happening there. This isn't a huge fire, but it's right there next to the, next to the uh, aerials there, or right next to the interstate. And that's what's causing the problem. I do want to tell you, when I was talking to FHB, I was asking what people in the area should be doing if you're driving and you come across that smoke. Go slow, turn on your lights, follow the instructions of what they're telling. But right now, they're telling you to get off the interstate. They're, di they're diverting traffic all around. I know the producer is trying to tell me something. I'm not understanding uh, what we're going through. They're going to show you. If to, yeah. So what you're looking at right now is 95 empty and that's what I just came off of so you're got you're gonna have to make other plans if you're planning to do this you know maybe take uh, just go around the area I haven't heard about US 17 that is one of the detours that you could take going through here we're gonna find out more for you of what's going to be happening here but I'll tell you in driving this I'm hoping to be able to get you some video shortly of that drive and driving right by here uh, what we're going to have is I'm going to show you of what I was able to see when we were driving through and shot this coming through. It was just a mess. Here you go right here. You can take a look and, and see what this goes. This is a little bit of ways uh, from the area as we're pulling up on it to it. And um, actually what we're doing is coming back on 95 South. So you can see it's both lanes there that, that's happening there. And so if you look there, you can see what's, what's happening there. Uh, traffic, uh, when we get up to it, it was basically a at a standstill at that point, and we were going to have to get off the interstate. So it's near this point, you can see just how dense that smoke is and the problems uh, that that's causing. 
what you're hearing me talking to is talking to our folks in the newsroom, letting them know what's happening here. And then you can see that the traffic there uh, was moving somewhat on the other side as they got up there. So again, FHP has closed I-95, both lanes, north and southbound. We're going to be up here trying to keep an eye. I'm going to get you some more video in a little bit of that, but the, the interstate is empty right now. You're going to have to find another way around. Vic? Okay, Jim, thank you for the information, and certainly we want you, your photographer, Randy Sell, and everyone else around there to be careful because it was scary and it was frightening as you showed us that video for maybe 15 seconds when the visibility was very, very bad. Jim Piggott reporting live. We also have Zach Lajway in the area getting information from firefighters as they try to contain this 200-acre wildfire. Right now, I want to show you a video from our News for Jack's tower cam. A little bit difficult to see, but if you look out there in the distance, you can make out some of that plume of smoke. You will also notice that in this direction, the visibility is just not that good. It is hazy. We don't have the blue skies and the white clouds that we would expect and that we're getting in some directions here. So this is our tower camera, which is pointed from the downtown area, pointing north toward this yellow bluff fire. Again, if you are just joining us, all lanes of Interstate 95, northbound and southbound, are shut down right now. This happened within the past 20 minutes, and that's because authorities think that the roadway is too dangerous there because of the flames that are very close to the lanes of traffic and also because of visibility issues with the smoke there. We do not have any kind of timeline about how long these roads are going to be closed, but you are looking live right now at our DOT camera. This is I-95 North near Pecan Park, and it's an eerie sight, something that you very rarely see here in North Florida. All lanes of Interstate 95 shut down. As you can imagine, this is going to cause a traffic nightmare. You've got tens of thousands of vehicles heading in both directions that now have to be rerouted around. This is video, once again, that I want to show you. This was sent to me by a viewer. And the viewer shot this shortly before Interstate 95 was closed, just a few minutes before that happened. And you could see Jacksonville Fire and Rescue crews there. State troopers are also monitoring the situation, and they are fighting this fire. The flames within a couple dozen yards of the roadway, and that's why you have those traffic cones there doing what they can uh, to keep people out of the way. Traffic very slow because of this. We know that in addition to local firefighters, the Florida Forest Service is there. They are fighting this. They're trying to build containment lines. And we want to show you a map once again. This is where the Yellow Bluff fire is. Okay, so it's right near the county line of Nassau County and Duval County. Your detours are going to be, if you're heading north from Jacksonville, through Pecan Park Road, and then you're going to go up 17, also known as Main Street. If you are heading south, you're going to take the State Road 200 exit. That's the one that you normally take to go to Yuley, maybe Fernandina Beach or Amelia Island. You take that exit, and then you go southbound on 17, and you're going to get off on Pecan Park Road. If you don't know the area that well, the good news is you do have state troopers with the Florida Highway Patrol who are going to be there. They're going to be working with the local authorities to make sure that everybody gets around and does it safely. But if at all possible, avoid this area because you can only expect traffic is bad. Now, as we heard Jim Piggott say, it is going to get much worse as you have that domino effect. Once again, you're looking live right now at our Pecan Park Road tower camera at I-95. Excuse me, that's a DOT camera. And it is eerie because all lanes of traffic are shut down. This is one because of safety issues. There's poor visibility uh, for a little area very close to where that fire is. You also have a lot of law enforcement and firefighters coming in and out of that area so they want some room to work to bring in their apparatus the fire trucks the tractors everything that they need 